We head to Japan first. Deflation is one of the biggest threats to Japan's economic recovery. But economists say the Bank of Japan may announce few new steps to tackle it this week. Policymakers begin a two-day meeting on Wednesday in Mike's here with a preview. Mike, what's likely to happen there? Well, two of the 16 economists we spoke to say that the bank will increase monthly bond buying. That leaves 14 who say that it won't. And all of them say that the bank will keep its benchmark interest rate at 0.1 percent. Figures yesterday show that the economy grew at the fastest pace in nearly three years at the end of 2009. However, falling prices threaten continued growth. The GDP deflator, the broadest measure of price moves in the economy, fell 3 percent, the biggest move in more than half a century. The government's been pressing the central bank to do more to fight deflation. In December, policymakers announced a $110 billion lending facility for commercial banks after the yen rose to a 14-year high against the dollar. Easier credit helping companies that have been hit by the uh, the uh, rising value uh, of the yen, which cuts, obviously, their overseas earnings. Now, the yen has weakened more than 3% since then, currently trading just over 90 to the U.S. dollar. Another, uh, well, one policy option, expanding the lending program. Another one could be increasing monthly government bond purchases from the current $90 billion. That would help pay for more government, stim government stimulus spending. However, the bank has been pressing the government to rein in that spending because it wants to control public debt. One board member, Seiji Nakamura, waxing lyrical earlier this month, he said the quality of public debt should not be regarded as a burning house on the other side of the river. Well, we'll see uh, what policymakers do uh, with their burning houses and their rivers on uh, Thursday <laughs> when the decision comes out.